I have an amazing idea. We start topside jungle and get the buff. Level E, second, jump this wall, take the enemy red buff, and sit here. This is my amazing idea. Okay, more like a scummy move, but listen. Kha'Zix is such a good 1v1, however, it takes so long to utilize it. Normally, you'd level your W second for the hill, so you can do a full clear, maybe gank here and there if it's convenient, maybe invade if it's convenient, but with that playstyle, you're waiting for your level 6 power spike. That is too long! And that is why we're sitting here in this bush. It's our level 2 power spike now. We took Ignite instead of Flash, so we have more damage and anti heal. We took E level 2, so we have a gap close since we don't have Flash. And this place looks... Pretty isolated to me, it's the fastest way to get to 1v1. Now here comes Zed as expected, and luckily for me, he uses his W thinking his red buff was still here. It's a good thing he didn't take that W back. Get topside buff, jump over the wall, kill enemy buff, and sit here, it's so simple. Now here comes Jungle Garen. Now at this time I was waiting for Garen to flash so I can follow up, but... But he, he never uses it. So I just kill him. Yeah, this, jump over that, go over. Huh? I run to Lee Sin, who also started topside jungle, but unfortunately for him, a neutral monster does not count as an ally, so he is still isolated. Nothing is compromised. And yes, I simply walked out of there. It's very situational, but most of the time, as long as you kill the enemy jungle in the small window, not many people give a fuck. Now we can snowball out of control and get all the fair fights we want, like this Vega trying to stop me from killing that control ward, or this ADC Lucid walking into this bush. So I'm about to kill his ass, but then the boys show up, so what the fuck? I need a 1v1 Lucian fast so I can get my reset and jump out. And all of that is thanks to my level 2 power spike. Yep. As long as you have the patience, someone will eventually come. Am I gonna be on YouTube? I love Piata! Yeah, hold on, let me just come back to you. I need to do my thing first. This Wukong went straight to his blue buff. He even tries fighting me, but Ignite cuts his healing from Smite, and I just out-damage him. He also tried flashing away. And now, I'm going to make my way to Lucian in the bot lane, in the most optimal path I can think of. Here we go. He has no idea. Now. Let him push that out. And we seek only the fairest fights on my YouTube channel. Yes, you're gonna be on YouTube, my friend. So I've been in this bush for the past three minutes. And I don't regret any second of it. Okay, so I'm getting worried because the three minute mark is hitting soon and Leeson isn't even here to take his top side, so what the fuck is he doing? Did he invade me? Is he gonna come back here and be level four? Um... Oh. Oh, never mind. He's still level two. Even though I AFK'd for half the time. He then calls me a cheese looking fuck. I don't blame him. So there I was sitting in the bush. All was going well. And then Wukong came and started his chickens. Now good Kha'Zix play would not let this bother them. Sit tight in the bush and be patient. But I let greed get the better of me. It's not like I was gonna lose this fight. Wukong just has a lot of avenues for escape. For example, flashing over this wall. To which I have to follow through. To which I find why the fuck is Irelia here? I guess uh, that's where my lack of patience got me. I random top Irelia in mid lane. Uh oh, help. Help Ash, block it. Block it. Okay. Okay, I'm out. Okay, now. I must wait till Jin unloads all his bullets onto Ash. Be patient now! Oh, yes! Yes! I mean, everyone tells me all the time I'm a very patient man. Where the fuck did Yumi go? Bye! Bye! Wait until the time is right when Jin crosses this bush right here alone. But that's when I found Wu Kong in the bush. What the fuck? So I juked him upwards. And then I one shot a Jin and jumped away. 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 Right into my death. So I got my buff, jumped over the usual. And I was going to get this blue buff, and that's when I saw a glimpse of Rek'Sai. This guy got his blue so fast. But that's okay, because I have a plan. Rek'Sai is tracking me right now with his solar shit, so I'm gonna pretend... Jumping over this ledge, but actually I'm just standing still. 
perfect. He's probably doing his wolves right now, so I'm gonna take his Gromp. There's some fucking shady business going on in this top blue side jungle. So I got the Gromp and I waited until Rek'Sai was back on his blue buff. I moved in once he's out of his tunnel. I didn't like the fact that I was dragging it out, so I had to jump in. I lost my gap closer, but luckily for me, he took the fight, thinking he could smite for health, but I ignited him. That's when I saw Morgana eating some honey lemons. She was even nice enough to get rid of the scuttle crab shield for me, thank you. That's when I snuck onto this Lucian. Go ahead, go ahead and recall, it's all good. And now this Pike is here to save Lucian, who's already dead. I ran into a bit of a miscalculation here. So I thought this Mod Kaiser jungle was starting topside by the way he was guarding it. So I big brained it and went bottom side. But as I was dragging the red buff, Twitch's poison aggro's it and he walks away from me. So I was forced to smite at 56 HP. But then I saw Camille in lane, so that means she didn't leash. And that means Mod Kaiser didn't start red, so he's going there right now and I need to get there before he does. So I jump over the wall and I get into the bush and I make it. But that was when Mod Kaiser was on his chickens and he randomly uses his oracles and finds my ward. Why? Not only does he sense me, but he also has isolation damage. This guy just might be my natural enemy. I managed to outdamage him even though he's level 3. I just need to wait for my Q now. But he uses his W to block it. And that's when I realized I only take fair fights and this is too scary. But then I realized I'd never ran away from a fight before. I'm going back in. But then I realized after realizing that there's no shame in running away. No shame at all. Or am I running away? You tell me, Swain! It doesn't look like I'm running, does it? No! No! It was all a part of the plan. Did I say Mod Kaiser was my natural enemy? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Maybe it's you, Senna? Probably not. Maybe Swain? Maybe he's grown a little bit? Nope, definitely not this fucking Teemo jungle. Oh, oh, did, did he see me? I accidentally popped my head out. I don't know how he didn't see me there. Ignite Q and little hop. So after killing jungle Teemo, I recall and I go to my red buff to find fucking jungle Teemo. Who's trying to cheese the cheeser. This guy is trying to cheese. The cheese looking fuck. So I sat at his red buff which respawned. Hi Teemo. I expected you. And then I blast coned over and I stole dragon. And then I killed Volibear to reset my E. And then I jumped over and I stole the dragon. Now for the Inferno Soul. I jumped over and I stole the fucking dragon. Now I just need to respawn and destroy this Teemo once and for all. But my league crashed. So there you have it, I guess. Riot Games is the only counter to this otherwise flawless strategy.